So let's say you got your home network up and running, but you want to make your internet connection faster. There's plenty you can do. First up is one of the simplest methods for increasing speeds. This is going to sound silly, but think about where your router is placed. One of the best things you can do for your coverage area is placing your router out in the open. Don't just put it in a corner or in a cabinet that you're never near. Remember that router is pumping out your connection. Distance can be an issue. If you do a lot of work in your upstairs office with your router on the first floor, maybe place that router higher. Also, if your router has external antennas, try repositioning them. The better your connection to your network, the better your internet speed will be. Maybe you love streaming all kinds of video. I mean, who doesn't, right? If you're doing wireless connections, placement matters. So get those boxes near the router. If you have the luxury, think about wiring up your Apple TV or Roku with network cable. Wired connections don't run into the same issues as wireless ones. With wireless connections, you are subject to interference and maybe dropouts. Physically connecting your devices to your router can give you much faster speeds. And for video streaming, that usually means higher quality video. So if you're sick of seeing pixelated, boxy, muddy streaming video, think about getting that device on a wired network. If your router does not have enough inputs, consider getting a network switch. In my home theater setup, I've got my Apple TV, Roku, Shield, and AV receiver all physically connected to the network thanks to a switch. I've got an older Roku and I have seen a real difference in its video quality thanks to a wired connection. Now, if network cables and moving your router are not an option, think about a Wi-Fi extender. Like the name says, it extends your Wi-Fi range. It receives a signal from your router and re-amplifies it further out. CNET recommends the TP-Link RE220. It's under 40 bucks and it works with just about every router out there. Here's something I found out firsthand. Check your modem. Usually people have their internet service provider come in, install whatever equipment they have to do, and then you forget about it. If you have an older modem, it might not be able to handle the download and upload speeds you're paying for. I had an old modem that was capable of up to 172 megabits per second. That's pretty quick. But here's the thing, I was paying for internet speeds higher than my modem could pump out. I picked up a new modem, I called my service provider to tell them I was using my own modem, and we did the setup over the phone. Boom, I was getting faster speeds. If you do decide to buy your own modem and install it, make sure you talk with your service provider. Usually, you have to register your modem with your ISP so the service works with the hardware. Oh, and prepare yourself for that phone call. You will not have internet for like a few minutes. It's absolutely awful. Finally, let's talk about your router. Take a good look at your router. When did you get it? How fast is it? If it's super old, you may want to look into replacing it. Otherwise, if you're feeling like tinkering, connect to your router's interface. Look for a quality of service or QoS section. You could prioritize traffic on your network. So if you want your video streaming to always look great, you can prioritize media streaming. Games, web browsing, yep, you can choose what devices should get the speed. You can also limit bandwidth going to certain devices. You can really get into the weeds with router settings. I'll have some helpful links for you guys. A big thanks to Rai Christ, CNET's networking master, for his help on this video. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.